These endangered manatees cavorting peacefully offshore are one of Florida's iconic marine mammals and a treasured tourist attraction. But in the spring of 2002, the unthinkable happens. Large numbers of manatees are being found dead in the water around Charlotte Harbor. Reports are called in to staff at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. And Margie Barless is on call at the nearest field station. My job was to pick up dead animals throughout southwest Florida so that we could figure out how they died. We were really interested to find out what they were dying from pretty quickly so that if there was something we could do locally to prevent other animals from dying, we would have the time to do that. One endangered manatee after another is found, all within just a few miles of each other. At the pathobiology lab, the bodies stack up. There are only around 5,000 Florida manatees that live in the salty seas and busy inland waterways of the Sunshine State. Manatees are very curious, interesting animals. They're called the gentle giant for a reason. They're not a threat to humans. They're very cute to watch. Legend has it that sailors once mistook manatees for voluptuous mermaids. Sadly, the Florida manatee is also one of the most endangered marine mammals in the United States. Because manatees are an endangered species, it is important that we investigate why they die. Martina DeWitt works at the heart of Florida's manatee recovery team, performing post-mortems on all the dead manatees. If you're talking about an average adult manatee, that's about you know, 1,000 pounds, sometimes a lot more. If you're talking about mass mortality events, it's, it's really, really physically exhausting. All these manatees have to be opened up and you know, cut into pieces, basically. So it, it's a really physically demanding job. The manatees are dying at an alarming rate. After eight dead manatees are retrieved in just three days, Florida wildlife investigators go into full alert. All units combine, and the hunt for the killer begins. 